I'm a brain tumor survivor, and I had a brain tumor in high school just a few years before college. I was 17, and surgery was the mainstay of treatment, and if you get a, a good resection, then your chances of being cured are great. The night before the surgery, the neurosurgeon came in and said, um, you need to understand, most likely, your left side of your body is going to be paralyzed if we're able to get it out. The moment they took the breathing tube out in the operating room, I was able to move everything, and I knew that I wasn't paralyzed. And so it was really awesome that I even got to go to college and that I got to be involved in a sorority and be as active as I was. So I went to Texas A&M University and I was fortunate enough to have been invited to all the different sororities. There was just something about the Tri-Delta girls. They really emphasized a well-rounded life and I liked that. But to be honest, what really got me into the Tri-Delta house was I needed a higher decision-making um, power than me. And so there just happened to be a rainbow outside the Tri-Delta house the day I needed to make my decision. And it was right over the Tridelt house, and so I made my decision that way. I knew basically when I was in kindergarten at a young age that I wanted to be a physician, and in high school I had done a lot of trips where it was mission work and serving underserved people, and I knew that I wanted to keep serving underserved people. And then in medical school, a really profound thing happened right before deadlines were due to choose a field. Um, a mentor to me in neurology came up to me and said, you have to do pediatric neuro-oncology. And I said, what made you say that? Because I was actually thinking of working with adults and he said the two go hand in hand. And it was just the light bulb went off. I had complete peace. I was so excited about my future. And part of it had to do with my personal story of being a brain tumor survivor. I did my training in Texas and then did an away rotation at St. Jude. Had no idea that my life course would change when they mentioned to me there was a job opportunity here to stay. After my two months here, I was just completely blown away with this place and thought, how could I go anywhere else when this is the absolute best in the nation? And I'm treating underserved people. That mission lined up with my heart's mission and it was just perfect for me. I love the patients. I love the fact that it's free for them. I love that there's so much philanthropy support from the community and from all over the world that's supporting St. Jude. Just walking down the hallways and seeing the letters, the Delta, Delta, Delta painted on the floor um, in the hospital, and then seeing the plaques of all the different uh, chapters in the nation who have been sponsoring. It just made me so proud. I'm so incredibly proud of those girls. I see firsthand where that money goes. It's creating the C clinic, which is the specialty clinic that I get to actually work in. And I just think that's a blessing. And we're getting to be a part of it and making sure the patients get the best care. Keep going, keep doing what you're doing. Keep giving, I promise it's working. This place is amazing. And I'm so honored to be able to do what I do with these kids. And trust me, they're so thankful too that they don't have to pay.